Sometimes I, I think of you. No, I don't see my own guy. I'm going to hell. I'm not in mood. 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 Good morning and welcome to another episode of The Studio. My name is Adam and thank you so much to my studio VIPs, Robert Utomo, Bradley Crowley, Sang Shun Han, Scott Reddick, Greg Harris, D.P. Newberger, and J. Carol Gilliland. Thank you so much for your continued support. And today's featured studio artist is Wiseman John. Thank you so much for your continued support. If you'd like to become a studio VIP or a studio artist, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Adam Tan or you can click over here. So yeah, we're back to looking at mallets. First time in a long time. I haven't looked at mallets for, I'd say at least a year now. It's partly because of the pandemic. We haven't received many parcels in the studio and also just, I don't know. I was kind of getting a little tired of reviewing mallets. Maybe it's just because after a while when you review heaps and heaps of mallets, they kind of start to feel and look the same. <laughs> so if you're new to my channel, you may not know that I have reviewed a lot of mallets on this channel. Like I'm talking about well over 150 pairs of mallets in this studio alone and most of them have been sent to me because of my channel like samples i didn't buy all of them obviously because i'm not rich some of these mallets come from really big manufacturers some of them come from really small manufacturers and some of them come from literally individual people just making them in their own home which i think is really cool and to be honest after trying a lot of these mallets you start to see a lot of similarities you start to think well they're kind of just yarn on sticks, like. <laughs> and yet we have all these different models, different shapes, different sizes, different weights, different lengths, different colors, and it just gets really confusing. And my preference in mallets has changed so much in the last few years. You might remember in my earlier videos, I talked a lot about 50-50 mallets, mallets that are really evenly weighted and feel very light in the hand and they are really easy to play. Things like the Van Size series from Vic Firm. And then I eventually started gravitating towards mallets that were slightly heavy. So one of my favorite mallets, which is actually right over here, is my Encore Mallets Nanai Mamura series. I know this is a little bit blasphemous holding this mallet in a Marimba 1 review. And as if to make myself feel better about what I just said, I do also use the wave wraps. You would have seen them in my recent TikTok of Into the Thick of It. Like I use them for all kinds of random occasions where I'm like, I don't know what to pick. I'll just use this and they are reliable. They have lasted me for over five years. So it really depends on what you like, right? I think now after trying, you know, well over 150 pairs of mallets, I've now whittled my collection down to like less than 10. Which brings me to my main point, which is that mallets do not make the player. Mallets are not a personality trait, okay? So just because you have really expensive mallets doesn't make you a really good player. Definitely an exceptional player with really cheap budget mallets will still be able to make a better sound than someone with very fancy, very expensive Louis Vuitton spec mallets, okay? Now the reason why I bring up this expensive mallet point is because, let's face it, Marimba 1 mallets are expensive. Now don't get me wrong, I really love Marimba 1 products, especially the Marimba 1 Marimbas. Like this Izzy has been with me for five years as well and it's just so good. Like I could rave on and on about how much I love Marimba 1's uh, Izzy's, the Wave instrument, which I reviewed on my channel over here, and also the One Vibe, their vibraphone, just really great instruments. But when it comes to their mallets, even including these Conrado mallets, the price. <laughs> Like, I'm going to be honest, if I'm recommending Marimba 1 to someone who's on a budget, I always pick these, the Front Ensemble series, because I think they are such good mallets. My students really like them, and they're available for around 30 US dollars, which I think is a very reasonable price for Marimba mallets. Plus, you get all of the build quality and all of the good stuff that Marimba 1 does with their mallets, albeit it's not as nice feeling as these ones, but... Most people I don't think would notice the difference. Okay, obviously you can see this video is a lot longer than five minutes, so there must be something good about these mallets, right? Yes, there are good things about these mallets, but let's start off with the price. 49 US dollars, 49. A lot of money to pay for Marimba mallets. Um, I would say that most Marimba mallets that are in this segment of like the concert soloist to like mature university students to like mature high school students who are looking to play like professional grade mallets, Definitely that is a lot of money to pay for Marimba mallets because you're usually able to get mallets around the 40 to 35 US dollar mark that are, I would say, on par with these. But that being said, Marimba 1 is usually really popular for going on sale. 
um, there's a lot of sales run by stores like Toma and Steve Weiss. If you can get this for buy one get one free price, so around like 25 to 30 US dollars a pair, that is a really, really good deal. So it really depends on where you shop and when you buy these. But yeah, just be wary of that initial high sticker price. So this is definitely more a mallet aimed at the professional market. And it feels like one too. When you look at the build quality of this thing, this is the one thing that I will say about Marimba One Mallets. No matter what the price is, you're getting so much build quality. Like this head is just so firmly attached. It never feels like it's gonna come off. All the winding of the yarn is so neat and tidy. Like there's literally no mistakes on this head. And you might say it's almost a little bit artificial, but I mean, it's literally perfect. <laughs> if you look at the shaft, the shaft is so smooth. It's covered in this very smooth, shiny lacquer, which almost makes you think on first impressions, if you're not actually like looking at it, you might think it's a rattan shaft. <laughs> if you're a fan of those like sandy shafts, like the ones where you can literally feel the sand coming onto your fingers, those like really dry finishes, then maybe this is not the one for you. But that being said, you can use mallet tape. You can use like tennis tape or something to add grip and that would be good. If I was using these as my dailies, I would definitely wrap these with tape because they are a little bit slippery in the hand to me personally. And I know some people like to wear out the lacquer over time, but that's just, that's not me. So the engraving, we've got the Marimba One logo. We've got the stripes telling us which model it is based on the number. So six stripes would mean model six. One strap would mean one. And of course, one is the harder model. Six is the softer model. And we'll talk more about the harnesses in a second, but just look at this finishing. Look at Conrado's name. Look at the signature on the side there. That's a really nice way of implementing it. And then finally, CM for Conrado Moya, B for Birch, and then the number of the model very clean. But regardless of the price, you're getting something to hold in the hand that is very, very premium. Now let's talk about the model lineup, especially the head shape. You'll notice that all of the head shapes are this oblong shape. I personally really like oblong shape mallets because they give you a good blend of warmth and articulation. If they're more narrow, like a bullet, you might get more articulation. If they're more round, you might get more warmth or you might even get some splattiness. I don't really like splatty mallets, so I really like this oblong shape. There's a 654321, so you can pretty much assume what the hardness are if six is the softest and one is the hardest and for me personally you'll find this out in the sound test as well i wouldn't buy anything past two just because i prefer to have my mallet softer my favorite models would probably be five four and three i feel like i could do a lot with those already but you might be different you might want to go for five three one and maybe just wear out the bottom ones a bit more or if you really want that base mallet you might want six four two harness separation it's there but at the same time i feel like with mallet wear it will become almost the same so i don't really see the point in buying all six unless you really want to dedicate to this series in which case Go ahead, I guess. <laughs> you do you. And I will also say that the fact that all the heads are white, this is both a blessing and a curse, as many of you would know from owning mallets that are all the same color. I honestly, like if I hold it like this, I find it very hard to tell which one is which. Like I can be like, sure, the smaller ones are harder, but which harder? <laughs> I'd probably just customize these myself anyway, using like nail polish or washi tape or something similar. But yeah, it's, it's a little bit difficult to tell which one's which. Now ergonomics, I've always noticed that these mallets, they tend to tilt towards the front. And my belief with mallets that are weighted, especially like heavy, heavy mallets, like the Pius Chang series, is that the weight has to be warranted. Like you have to be able to hear it in the sound. And I will say this, there are some mallets in my daily rotation that weigh less, that feel like they weigh less than this, uh, less front weighted, but can get the same amount of warmth or even more. And I have a feeling that has something to do with the material of this yarn. Like I've used a lot of wool mallets recently, as well as mallets that just have a slightly, slightly looser wrap and maybe a more rubberized core. I don't know what these cores are, but they definitely feel more on the articulate side. So not as obvious as something like say the round sounds, the round sounds have a much more articulate profile in my opinion to, than to these, but I still feel that weight and I'm not sure that that weight is warranted, but some people will definitely love this mallet because it gives you that sort of balance of weight, but articulation. One of the things I really like ergonomically about these mallets is that the weight variance is not much at all. So if you put these in a graduated set, these are actually out of order. They're not even in order. And it doesn't feel like there's any mallet that is like much heavier than the other one. Unlike some models that I've reviewed on this show. 
Yeah, but it's really nice to just have something that feels flat and balanced. And I'm going to show you now what the mallets sound like. But if you're enjoying the video so far, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, I think the best way to explain the sound is to literally just let you hear it. So here's the sound test.
Okay, what do you think of the sound test? Let me know down in the comments below. You might have also heard an excerpt from my new piece that I'm going to be releasing very soon. I have been working on a few pieces in the last few months, even though I have been a bit quiet about that. But yeah, I'm really excited to drop a lot of new music in the second half of the year. But yeah, enough about my music. Back to the mallets. Would I recommend these to anybody? Yes and no. If you're on a budget, Definitely not. Unless you can get these on sale, I think there are definitely better options. Even in Marimba 1's own lineup, like the Front Ensemble series, that is definitely much better if you're on a budget. And if you're on a no budget, <laughs> Does anybody say that? No budget. If budget is no object and you really like Marimba One sound and you want something that is really concerty feeling, so something that can play equally as comfortably in jury as it can in recital, as it can in front of an orchestra like concerto style, these can definitely fit the bill. I would probably use these mostly in four mallet situations, but they can actually be used as two mallet mallets really well as well. But one thing I really like about these mallets that I feel like none of the other Marimba One artist series were able to do is that none of these mallets sound harsh or muffly. So what I mean is like the softest mallet doesn't sound really muffly at the top and the hardest mallet doesn't sound overly harsh at the bottom, although you still shouldn't use it at the bottom. It's just like there's no extremes. It's very predictable and it's very safe. It's really good for being sensitive, which is why I will say the Conrado Moya series is my favorite artist series from Marimba One right now. Yes. <laughs> But yeah, let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions about the Marimba One mallets. And of course, Marimba One themselves, I know they're usually really good about replying to this stuff too. But thank you so much once again to Marimba One for sending me these mallets. If you are a company or anybody that wants to send me anything, my PO box address is in the description down below. If you haven't already, hit that red subscribe button below to keep up with my uploads as I upload on this channel every single week. And yeah, I won't say that this is my last mallet review ever. I just haven't been doing them as much. I definitely have a couple of gear reviews coming up including yes <laughs> and marimba fest is coming up in three weeks time so obviously i'm going to be more busy with that but i will keep trying to upload videos throughout the next few months and i am going to be dropping some new pieces very soon so make sure you have subscribed to this channel make sure you follow me on instagram and everything else so that you know whenever i upload new content okay thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll see you guys next week for another episode of the studio good night <laughs>